हरे कृष्णा श्री नम परमाल की जय शिला प्रभुपात की जय सर टुडे वी विल स्पीक अबाउट श्री रंग महात्म्यम इट इज इट इज अबाउट हाउ रंगनाथ जी अपियर टू श्री रंगम हाउ हैज ब्रॉड द रंगनाथ जी डी टी हियर इट्स अ वेरी नाइस पास टाइम इट इज एक्सप्लेन इन द पुराणास and it is said that anyone hear this story anyone recite this story they will be free from all the sinful activities also anyone gives give the story to others distribute this to others they will give they will get eternal residence in shirangam itself so it is told in the dashadhyayi uh, sadadhyayi some kind of literature it is a uh, part of purana many puranas describing about this uh, the past times of shri ranga especially the kshetra kanda in the puranas so um, about ranganath ji's appearance in the beginning of the creation lord brahma ji he wanted to see the supreme lord in a form so generally brahma ji first he performed tapasya in the ocean of milk then he severely performed tapasya then he heard the voice of tapa tapa we will read in the bhagavatam so in this way he was performing tapasya very severely for different thousands of celestial years then from the ocean of milk the kshirodak cycle ocean of milk no from that ocean a beautiful viman golden dome viman appeared that's we already spoke about the shiranga viman what is the benefits of viman how many parikram you do what benefit will get so so many benefits are there so that viman was so huge in size in those days so within that viman ranganaji was lying down like this hmm? so he was smiling along with namparmal is there within the viman so the namparmal deity also came from the spiritual world is not from this material world with so murti also so then within that viman brahma ji seen Gandharvas, Kinnaras, Kimpurusha, all different parts, different great personalities, eternal associates of the Lord, they were all dancing and singing and glorifying the Lord like that. So Brahma ji did parikram to Ranganath, and Brahma ji was very happy to see the number of all Ranganath ji. Then Brahma ji prayed to Ranganath, Hey Ranganath, is the you are the first self manifested deity form. so i would like to worship you in my abode brahmaloka kindly please come and stay with stay with me so rangana ji so pleased with brahma's tapasya he agreed so immediately he called garuda and kept that viman along the whole temple and the uh, garuda and brought it to from shir sagara that came to brahmaloka then in brahmaloka brahma with so much love and affection our brahma ji he worshiped rangana ji then after so many years brahma ji made the pujari as sun god surya dev surya dev became the pujari then surya deva with so much love used to worship ranganatha then surya after surya then the uh, manu vivaswan manuve praha we hear from bhagavad gita no that manu came to worship the deity of ranganath and namparmal then later after manu his son ikshvaku maharaj he came to worship ranganath This is all in Brahmaloka, but Ikshvaku Maharaj, his capital, his kingdom was in in this earthly planet Ayodhya. So Ikshvaku Maharaj, it will take long time to reach Brahmaloka and do puja and come back. He could do that, but he thought in 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 his descendants in future, his descendants will not be able to go to the Brahmaloka and do the puja and come back. So Ikshvaku Maharaj thought somehow or other I should bring the Ranganaji to the earth. so that all the people will get benefited the earthly conditioned souls will get benefited so he decided to perform a severe austerity so how he did austerity during the summer he put fire around him and he will sit in the middle and he will close the eyes and chant the holy names of ranganath then during the winter he will keep water up to his neck and he will chant the holy name of the lord and calling for ranganath ji's arrival in this way he was doing so severe austerities and penances to bring ranganath ji from brahmaloka to ayodhya meanwhile the indra the demigod of the heaven king of the uh, demigods he thought this uh, 
Ikshwaku Maharaj is doing all this tapasya to take his position, Indra position. So Indra was very much worried, so immediately he, he wanted to disturb the Ikshwaku Maharaj. So he sent his beautiful Apsaras, Ramba, Uroshi, Tilotama, all these Apsaras, he said, you kindly go and dance in front of him and somehow disturb him and let him stop, stop the tapasya, then uh, he will not disturb me, my post. So these Apsaras all came, they started dancing in front of him, they creating different, different postures and music and everything. But in the heart of Ikshagu, there is no drop of lust was not there. Not only that, then finally the Indra sent the Kama Dev, the Cupid itself. The Cupid shoot the Kama Bana to Ikshagu's heart. But there is no lust in the heart of Ikshagu. Ikshagu wake up from his austerity, Tapasya. He came and offered Dandava to Cupid and the, all the Apsaras. Then he worshipped them with Padhya, Argya, Chabanya. He worshipped them very nicely. Then instead of the demigods came to disturb Indra, disturb Ikshwagu Maharaj, they all blessed. Oh Ikshwagu, you did, gay, you did a wonderful worship for us. So we all bless you. Very soon your desires will fulfill. Instead of disturbing Ikshwagu Maharaj, they all blessed Ikshwagu Maharaj and they all went back. Then Indra became very angry. He somehow he wanted to kill Ikshwagu because he is going to be a threat to his post. Indra he took his Vajra, the thunderbolt weapon, he threw to Ikshwagu Maharaj. Then Ikshwagu just prayed, Hey Ranga, kindly protect me. He just prayed to Ranganath, then Ranganath he sent his Sudarshan Chakra. The Sudarshan Chakra, Sudarshan Chakra came and he nullified the Indra's thunderbolt weapon. Then Indra was totally failure in all his attempts. So Indra went to Brahmaji and he started crying. Oh Brahmaji, see this Ikshwagu, he want to take my post. He want to take away my everything. So you kindly help me like that. Then Brahmaji started crying. Oh Indra, you don't have to cry. He is going to take my deity Ranganaji. My Ranganaji is going to, that's what he is wanted. Then in, Brahmaji pacified Indra, I don't worry. Then Brahmaji went to Ranganath and told, Hey Ranganath, you are going to leave me to Ikshwabhu. Then Ranganaji said, My dear Brahmaji, you are very dear to me. So, you are the one brought me from the spiritual world to this material world. So, I will be accepting the morning prasad from you. Then I will go to this earth. Then again for the lunch prasad, I will come back to you. So, Brahma was very happy. And Raghunath also told, but in future I am going to stay in my eternal abode in the banks of the Kaveri river. I am going to stay there also. Raghunath said. Then Brahma also agreed. Then he brought his swan vehicle and kept the Sri Raghunath along with the Viman whole temple. Kept it in the Hamsa and he brought it to Ayodhya. And the Raghunath came to Ayodhya. In Ayodhya, in the palace, Ikshavu Maharaj used to worship Ranganaji with so, with so much love and affection, so much opulent worship was done to Nambarmal. Because this Nambarmal has directly appeared from the spiritual world by Kunda. Therefore, they never miss any festival. All the time it is like a festival for Nambarmal. Then the same Nambarmal, the same Ranganaji deity was worshipped by all the great, great kings of the Surya Vamsa. Ragukula dynasty, you know, Ikshwag Maharaj, Ambarish Maharaj, Katwanga Maharaj, Sagara Maharaj, Mandala Maharaj, Dilipa Maharaj, Amshuman, Bhagiratha, all these great kings we read in Bhagavadam, they all worshipped the same number mal, same Raganaji. Then later this worship came to King Dasharad, the father of Lord Ramchandra. Then Dasharad Maharaj, he don't have as children, he don't have son. So he decided to perform a very big Yajna, Putra Kamishti Yajna. Then in that Yajna, in order to do the Yajna, he invited all the kings around the planet. Then there was a one South Indian king, his name is Dharma Varma. He also participated in that Yajna. After, uh, after finishing that Yajna, when the Yajna Purusha came and gave the Payasa, then everybody drank the Payasa, Kausalya, Sumatra, Kaige, they all drank the Payasa. Then you know how Ram, Lakshman, Bharat, Satrukna was born later. But uh, at the time of Yajna, Dasarada Maharaj, he decided to show all the kings his favorite deity, 
Nam Parmal Ranganath. Dasar Maharaj, he opened his altar and showed that beautiful form of Ranganath. Then all these kings was, they became mad after seeing the beauty of the Lord. Then this one king, South Indian king called Dharma Varma, he was so mad seeing the beauty, so much attached to Ranganath. So he decided, I cannot leave this Lord and go. So he went back to his kingdom in Sri Rangam. He came in, in between these two rivers of Kaveri in the banks of Chandra Pushkarani. There he sat down. He started doing tapasya, severe austerity to bring Ranganath from Ayodhya to Sri Rangam. That was going on. Meanwhile in Ayodhya, the Ramchandra was appeared. Ramchandra, he was banished to the forest. He killed Ravanasura. He brought Sita with him, along with him, Vibhishan came. So they all came back to Ayodhya. Then the coronation, Patabhishek was going on in Ayodhya. So Ramchandra gave everybody some gifts. So Ramchandra told Vibhishana, Ho oh, Vibhishana, I am giving you the Swarna Langa. You go and worship, you go and rule over the Swarna Langa and enjoy. So Vibhishan told, My dear Lord Ranganath, what I will do with this Swarna Langa? I don't need this. Let me remain as your servant of your servant of your servant and engage in your service always with you, Rama. Then Ramchandra told, No, Vibhishana, all the people, citizens in Langa, they are all waiting for my kingdom. So on my behalf, you should go and look after Sri Langa. Hmm? Myself and my personal deity, Ramchandra, they are not different. So therefore, I am giving you my personal deity, Ramchandra, Ranganath. Ramchandra told, my, my personal deity Ranganath and myself is not different. So my personal life and soul is my Ranganath. So I am giving my Ranganath to you. You go and worship. Vibhishna started jumping in ecstasy. Ah, oh, Ramchandra's favorite deity which is not different from Ranganath. That Ranganath is going to give me. So even that is said that uh, Ramchandra, he learned the walking style from Ranganath. There is a slogan in Kambara Mayan. So Ramchandra's favorite deity was Ranganath. So in this way, Vibhishan was given the deity of Ranganath along with the Viman. So Vibhishan carried the deity on his head and he was flying in the sky towards Sri Lanka. Meanwhile, Ramchandra told, Lord Ramchandra told that Vibhishana, this deity has directly appeared from the spiritual world Vaikunda. Therefore, time to time you have to do the programs, festivals and everything. So when Vibhishana came in between these two rivers of Kaveri, he felt like it was the time for the festival. So he kept the Ranganaji. This is a suitable place for Ranganaji. This Srirangam is so beautiful, you know. Always Kuilinam Kuvim Solei, Mahilinam Malum Solei, Vandinam Murlum Solei. The Alvars glorified Srirangam like that. So just like that, even now in our Gopal Bhattagosami temple, we can see all the time so many peacocks. So, Srirangam is always filled with peacocks and it's a forest. Those days it is a forest. Now also near to the temple it's like a city but a little far from the Srirangam it's always like a forest only. Two sides beautiful, wonderful river Kaveri. So Vibhishna thought this is the right place for Ranganaji's worship. He kept it there and he took bath in Kaveri river and at that time this Dharma Varma Maharaj who is performing tapasya there he came and told Vibhishana Hey Vibhishana, from time in memorial in the Ikshavu dynasty, they used to do this Brahmotsava festival, which is started by Brahmaji. So now at the same time, the Falguna Masa, the Uttara Nakshatra is going to come. So let us celebrate the festival. Vibhishana told, okay, let us celebrate for nine days grand festival. Then they nine days they they, in, they carry the Nampar Mall in different different Vahanas and a wonderful festival was celebrated in Shirangam. The ninth day. After ending the festival, Vibhishana want to carry Ranganaji to Sri Rangam, Sri to Sri Langa. At that time, he tried to pull the deities up, but the deity is not at all moving. Ranganaji is not at all moving. So Vibhishana cried, My dear Ranganath, why are you not moving? Then Ranganaji is smiling and said, Hey Vibhishana, Look at this place, it's so nice, two sides, nice, wonderful Kaveri rivers, nice breeze, so much peacocks and all the great devotees are here. So this is my eternal place, I would like to stay here. So Vibhishana told, my dear Ranganath, it's a very good idea, you should stay here 
I will also stay here and I will render constantly service to you. At that time Ranganaji told, no, no Vibhishana. Ramchandra already told you to look after Sri Lanka. So you have to go to Sri Lanka, whereas I will stay here. I will be always facing towards your side, south side. Therefore, in this way, also Dharmaraj told, see this king, local king, Dharmavarma, these all devotees here, they all cannot cross the ocean and come and see me in Sri Lanka. But whereas you are from the Rakshasa dynasty, you can any time fly and come here and see and go. So in this way, Ranganaji stayed here facing towards the south direction, showing his glance to Vibhishana and Vibhishan went back to Sri Lanka. So even now, Vibhishana is personally coming and worshipping Ranganaji every day night itself, Shayana Ardi Seva. So this story is called Sri Ranga Mahatmyam. Anyone hear this story, speaks this story, telling others, to, others about this story, they will be free from their sins itself. It is mentioned in the Puranas. Shri Ranganath Bhagavan ki jai, Shri Prabhupada ki jai, Shri Gurudev ki jai, Nam Paramal ki jai.